hemlock. Yeah, you want to plant it somewhere? It's very nicely. Yeah. <laughs> ah, perfect. Oh, I, dirt in the dirt. can. I thought we just pulled up this hemlock, so we're we'll just go replant this guy somewhere. Hold on. All right, I moved him. You know, we have thousands of trees, but when you can save one. Are you making fun of me? No, I was all for it. I thought it was a great idea. Hey, so one of the things we are gonna do this weekend is we're going to install our 500 gallon water tank. Uh, previous video you saw us haul that up there and it's sitting up there waiting for us, so we're going to head up there this weekend and put that in, and we have a few other projects to do, which should be exciting. I'll try to get some footage of all that, in case you're interested. Uh, one of the things we're doing is we're hauling water up to that 500-gallon tank as until we get you know buildings built that can do the water catchment uh, and build out our larger water design. The 500-gallon tank is just kind of a temporary spot to have water there when we need it, uh, when we're up there camping and, and working on projects. Um, so to get water to that, we have a 100-gallon water tank, which is in the back of the truck. I'll show that to you. And we are filling that up uh, every time we go up. And then I have a pump that I picked up. <laughs> I'll show you that as well. Uh, that we used to just pump the water out of the tank in the truck up to the 500-gallon tank. Uh, so we'll probably do that till it's full and just fill it as needed from there. So let me move the truck and we will go get this thing filled up. cars in it. Can't wait to move in the middle of nowhere. All right, so along with all the other stuff piled in here for all the projects we got to do, there's the 100 gallon tank, this guy right here. Uh, we just picked that up recently. And then we got some hoses and then, oh, somewhere back in here is our water pump down there somewhere. <laughs> Once we get up there, I will hook all that up and we'll Show you how we pump water out of this and up into the big tank. Okay, I stopped it just below the 100 marker here. The truck is on a slight incline, so once we level out, that's right around 100 gallons, but who's counting close enough? Uh, the goal is just to have lots of water up there. So get it close to 100 each time and take it up. So we're all ready to go for tomorrow and we'll head out in the morning. Are you recording? Okay. that first giant water tank hiding in the trees okay so we've got to put that adapter I made in this thing not work with anything this big so I am going to use just the thread sealant tape on it uh, I assume it needs it since it's PVC to PVC but 
we'll try that out and see if it leaks. Tighten it up and it guaranteed not to leak, right? I don't strip out the threads. Okay. It's temporary, right? We keep telling ourselves in five years from now, we'll be like, remember when this was temporary? Okay. So we will let that dry and we'll put in water up to about here. Let it sit, see if it leaks. If it doesn't, we're good to go to build out the rest of the plumbing all the way down to the landing. Okay, here's the pump we have. This out. Put this together at home the other day. Basically, took just a C-Flow, oh, it's like a 5.5 gallon per minute pump. Put some adapters on it with some uh, sealant to adapt it directly to uh, garden hose size, which I think is 5 eighths, something like that. Uh, and we'll use potable water hose for pumping water out of the 100 gallon here that we filled at the house and we'll continue to bring up each time. Out of this pump, up the hill over there to the water tank there and we're gonna see how this does. We tested the pump at home, it worked great, but we have not tested it pushing uphill at about probably 65 feet uh, in length. So let's see how it does. Now this pump just runs off DC. Uh, so eventually if we're, once this is all working correctly, I'm gonna actually get just a small 12 volt battery that stays with it uh, that we can charge up occasionally. But for now, since we're testing things, I'm just going to use the 12 volt battery inside the jump starter. That's how we test it. Should turn on. Okay. Not going to turn on yet. Yeah, I can run the hose up to the tank. Give it a try. Okay, hose is all the way around. I'm gonna fire this little pump up. See if we can push water up there. Alright, let's turn it on, see what it does. Water made it. So that's how good that pump is putting water up here. We're up about what 50, we're about 75 feet of hose and going up around 30 foot in elevation from the truck. Not a huge amount of pressure, but moving probably five gallons a minute. So I'll quit wasting the water. No leaks. Looks like no leaks. So that's fantastic. So you can hear me over the wind. GoPro microphones kind of suck when there's wind. But if you can hear me, no leaks. So we're about halfway through the 100 gallon tank. It's pumping about probably five, over five gallons a minute, I'm sure. Uh, so that's working out awesome. This 
went faster and was much more successful than I, I thought it might be. So it ended at five o'clock, completely empty. We're close enough. So we'll check how many minutes that took to drain. Worked awesome though. A couple things will change. The end of the hose is kind of a crappy, kinky one. So we'll change that out for a better hose next time. And then actually I'm gonna redo the power for the pump so it plugs into the truck and we don't need this power pack. But that worked great for just temporarily getting it to work and it's still got enough to easily jump a vehicle for the head too. So awesome. Okay, yeah, here we are inside. Pretty much nothing. Ounces, I tell you. Worked great. Now we just bring four more loads of that and that big tank will be full. <laughs> Okay, we got uh, somewhat of a trench dug down the hill there. We're gonna come out of the tank and cut through some trees where we're pretty sure animals like elk aren't walking through. It's pretty crappy and there's easier ways around. So we don't need to bury there. Then when we come out of the tree line, we're just gonna bury four or five inches down. We're not worried about freezing for this project at all because uh, if it even did freeze up here, it'll be in a season when it's all turned off. Um, for now when we build the permanent system we'll obviously do some real trenching and do it the right way uh, but this is just for temporary so ideas come down this line about 50 feet probably five 10 foot pieces hit this post we just set right to a spigot and then we can uh, pull water out of that tank as we need it and then the next project next week will be building the the temporary bathhouse so we'll tee off this line and head over so we're going to put some pipe together and see what we can do with it yeah. Okay, pipe comes up through the trees as we talked about and we're gonna build a 90 and a 90 here. Look at this. Probably pile some rocks around this part so that if elk do walk through here, they'll step over it more likely than on it. And then we'll go down the other side, finish the line out and bury that part. So let's hook this up. Just using three quarter inch PVC for this run. I do need a couple short pieces of pipe to make these turns, so I'm just going to cut it off the run I made. Since the other end is still being built, we don't worry about the length here. So we'll cut off right around here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so this pipe, where we just made the junction there, out of our beautiful 500 gallon tank, we're gonna, as I mentioned, put some blocks around this. Uh, shell held up a ton of awesome rocks for that, so we'll do that after this dries a little bit. That's through here. It is exposed here in this crap, so there is potential for elk stupidness there, so we'll see what happens. Uh, now as we get down here, we'll start burying it here on this hill down. Okay, got her all plumbed in, buried up the hill. So I'm gonna go up and turn the upper part on and uh, Michelle will turn the lower part on. We'll see if it works. So there were no leaks, so that's good. Here we go, oh boy. Are you recording? Sweet.